welcome you again in this topic i would like to explain the calculation procedure for the importance of basic parameters which may represent a central tendency of the data we should understand what the data are data are basically the values which we measure values we keep in record for example per day number of accidents so if we have the data for 30 days so it is a set of values we call data so what is an average value of the number of accidents that will represent the central property of the data like this i'm showing you the data of the battery life i'll give you an example and the same example i will take up for the calculation point of view now there will be 40 uh, batteries giving their life which were measured coming out of one particular company it shows a range of values so now when we have a range of values it's not possible to sh to give the answer what is the what are the characteristics of the data we have to give either the average value or the other statistical parameters like median or deviation in any kind of data two things are very important one is the central properties and the other is the spread of the data Central properties are defined using mean value, median value, mode value and spread of the data is defined using standard deviation, variance, quartiles, percentiles, histogram, frequency curve. These things are two basic characteristics of the data which we want to discuss in this lecture. Now look at this data. 40 batteries were recorded for their life which are listed here 2.2 years, 4.1 years, 3.5 years and so on up to 4.2 and 3.5 years. Now the question is how can we represent this data? What we can infer from the data? What values can be the characteristics or the basic representative of the data. As I told you earlier that there are two things. One is central properties, then the other is the spread of the data. So these two things can be identified if we understand the basic standard variables like mean, mode, median, standard deviation, variance, quartiles, etc. And these are the few questions here. What is the sample size of the birth sample? It's nothing but 40. Calculate the mean. I'll show you. Calculate the sample median. Calculate the standard deviation. Draw the histogram. Draw the box plot. Look at sample mean. If there are 40 values, so n will be 40. x1 to xn, you have 40 set of values. 40 values in a set. You can sum them all and divide by n will be your mean value. I'll show you how to do it. There are 40, 40 uh, values in this data. If we have to find out the mean value, mean, which is represented by x bar, if they were considered as x1 to xn. So the sum is 2.2 plus 4.1 plus 3.5 plus 4.5 plus 3.2 and so on to I can come up here moving this way then this way then this way like this so we are uh, just here not this okay so the values are 2.6 plus 3.9 plus 3.0 plus 4.2 plus 3.5 divided by 40 so it comes about 
136.5 divided by 40 that to be 3.4125 years unit remains the same so that's a value we can use as a representation of the center value of this whole data Now see the sample median. It is nothing but the midpoint of the data. If you arrange all the values in an increasing order and you find the midpoint, that is called median. Important thing here is if n is an odd number, you can divide it very easily and get the midpoint which is an occurred value over there. But if n is even, you have to take the average of the two mid values. Now we, wish, uh, we would like to calculate the median. For that, the first step is to transform the data in an ascending order. An ascending order. Now, when we have this order, uh, from starting from 1.6 to 4.7 it defines the the range of the data that is from 1.6 years to 4.7 years now we are looking for the median in case now looking for the median in case n is odd we can take a 41st value as 41st as 4.8 so in this case nothing but the point which is the 21st value will be considered as median value. Median is nothing but x n by 2 plus 1 that is x 21st and that is 3.4. However, if n is 40 as given in the data then median is x n by 2 plus x n by 2 plus 1 divided by 2. In this case it will be x 20th plus x 21st divided by 2. Fortunately we are going to have 3.4 plus 3.4 divided by 2. That gives us a median value as 3.4 years. This value gives a significance that 50% of the values, 50% of the batteries are having life less than 3.4 years. That's the significance of the median. Because median defines the midpoint. Sample mode, if you find out the frequency of occurrence of every value, then the most occurred value is called the mode. I'll show you how to calculate. In case we are interested to find out the mode value. Mode is nothing but the highest frequency point frequency value now if you see here one by one like 1 1.6 has the frequency of occurrence as one 
1.9 has frequency of occurrence as 1. 2.2 has frequency of occurrence as 1. 2.5 has frequency of occurrence of 1. 2.6 has frequency of occurrence of 2. And so on. If we move moving, we are looking that 3.1 has the maximum frequency of occurrence which none other value has. So this 3.1 has 4 times occurrence out of 40. So that way mode is nothing but 3.1 here. It means that the significance of the mode is that what battery life you can expect maximum number of time. So that is mode. And this is the procedure how we obtain the value of the mode. These were the central values. Next important characteristics of the data is the spread of the values. That will be uh, understood by calculating the variance of standard deviation or the box plot which is nothing but based on quartile values.